calculate the volume of the following shapes. So now to calculate the volume of uh, any given shape, you don't need to know whether it's open or closed. All you need to know is the radius and the height for cylinders and then the base area and the height. So now let's quickly delve into it. So to find the area of this, I mean the total surface, the volume of this, you can just say V is equal to base area times height. So if you decide to do it like this, then you can find the base area separately, which is this. So because we have a circle as a base, the base area will be given by pi r squared. Every time you see a pi, just know that there is a circle somewhere. So the base area here will be 22 over 7 multiplied by the radius, which is a 7. And then because it's squared, you have this. So now 22 times 7, this is 14, 31, 14 again, so that's like 154. And then you can multiply this by the height to get the, the volume. So that means your volume will be 154 multiplied by 12. So 12 multiplied by this, this will be an 8, this will be a 10. So you can put 0, carry 1, this times this is 2, plus 1, we have a 3. Then 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 5, 5, 1 times 1, we have another 1. So this will be 8, 4, 8, 1. So that means our volume will be 1,848. So now, uh, if you don't want to do it like this, it's pretty much the same. You can just use this formula. Instead of putting an A there, just put this, pi r squared h. Especially in a case like this where the, the radius is not um, a multiple of 7. So you can say V is equal to 22 over 7 multiplied by the radius, which is 7 squared. So you say 7 times 7 multiplied by the height, which is 12. Then you can reduce your numbers like this. Uh, 7 into 7 is 7. I mean 1. So that you have... 22 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 12 and then now you can multiply your numbers so let's start with um, 22 times 7 so 22 times 7 as we found this side is 154 multiplied by 12 and then 12 by uh, 154 this is 1848 square i mean cubic centimeters even here you have cubic centimeters because volume deals with three dimensions uh length breadth and height in a case of um, a cylinder you have r squared so you have two dimensions from there and h this one is a constant and then part B, we can use the same thing. V is equal to pi r squared h. So our V will be pi is 22 over 7 multiplied by the radius. Remember, the radius is the distance from the center to any point on the circumference. So this one is the distance from one end of the circumference to the to the other. So you don't have to use the 8. Instead, find half of 8. Half of 8 is simply a 4. Because this into this is 4 and then 4 times 1 is 4. So we can put our 4 there. And because it's squared, remember to multiply it by itself. And then multiply it by the height. The height of um, a cylinder is always the distance between the two circular faces, which is 21. So before you do anything, 
reduce your numbers you always have uh, a multiple of seven or at least a factor of seven so uh this into itself is one then seven into 21 is um three times so that we have 22 multiplied by four multiplied by four multiplied by three so now let's multiply 22 by four this is 88 then four times three we have a 12 then now let's multiply 88 by 12. so two times eight is 16 carry one two times eight again we have another 16 plus one we have a 17. then one times eight we have an eight one times this eight we have another eight you can even put your placeholder there then six plus zero we have a six seven plus eight we have a 15 so you write the five carry one one plus eight that's nine plus one we have a ten so that your volume is 1056 uh, cubic centimeters because these are centimeters right centimeters and always put the cube then let's move on to these shapes the procedure is pretty much the same so to find the volume of this you can still say a i mean v is equal to base area times height so in this case the base is the triangular face whether they put it like this or like this so now to find the area of the triangular face area is given by half b h where b is perpendicular to h so in other words our formula is half b h where there is a we put this times um h let me use capital letter h to represent the the height of uh, the triangular prism so our area our volume will be half b so b and h must be perpendicular to each other b and small letter h so uh, in case you are wondering actually i just forgot to indicate it here we always have uh, a small square to show you where the the two sides are forming the right angle so this is perpendicular to this as indicated by that so to find the volume of this let's multiply this six multiplied by the 2.6 then multiplied by the height which is 10 like this remember the height of the triangular prism is the distance between the two triangular faces so we have a 10 here and then now we can simplify and by the way you don't need the pi here because we don't have any circle this one will only come in where you have a circle so before we do anything else we can always reduce our numbers so we can just say 2 into 3 into 6 is 3 so that we have 1 times 3 which is 3 times 2.6 times 10 and then to make it easier instead of multiplying this by this decimal number you can just multiply this by this to get rid of the decimal number the decimal point there so 2.6 times 10 will just shift the point one step this side so this one will be 26 and then now we can multiply 26 by 3 so 3 times 8 times 6 this will be 18 so you write 8 carry 1 3 times 2 this will be a 6 plus 1 we have a 7 so that our volume is equal to 78 cubic centimeters like this finally we have this one here so v for this one is equally given by a h you may choose not to write this and just write v is equal to half b h times capital letter h like this so now 
v will be half b and small letter h must be perpendicular to each other so just look for those two sides which are perpendicular to each other forming the triangle so we have a five we have a four we have a three five is not perpendicular to any of the uh, two other sides so you don't use it in this case look for this small square in case you are not sure which two sides are perpendicular so in this case we have a three and a four which are perpendicular to each other so you can just say three times four it doesn't matter whether you say four times three or three times four this may be the base and this the height but it's still okay if you swap them because multiplication is commutative then h which is the height of the triangular i mean yes the triangular prism so this is the distance it's always the distance between the two triangular faces so you can say multiplied by 12 so that our v will be before you do anything else remember to reduce your numbers i can div i can uh, divide this into this or into that but not into both so i think i'll just use this one because i don't want to have very big numbers so you can have one times three times four times six so now this times this is three this times this is 24 so now let's multiply 24 by 3 to find the volume of uh, this figure so 3 times 4 we have a 12 carry one 3 times 2 we have a 6 plus this we have a 7 so our volume will be 72 centimeters cubed so cube 20, 72 cubic centimeters is our volume for this figure. So in this case, these two are the perpendicular sides. You don't need the five. And then in a case like this, these two are the perpendicular sides. You don't need to know this. In fact, they didn't even indicate it. So whether they indicate it or not, just look for two perpendicular sides, multiply them, multiply by half and multiply by uh, the height and you are done so now let me just give you some work based on uh, today's examples calculate the volume of the following shapes we have this as our first shape this as our second shape uh, third fourth fifth and sixth shape let me even indicate this is part f okay so you can just answer these questions and submit uh on and i'll let you know